Hey YouTube. Hello everybody. I'm Rob Savori. And I'm Joshua Santian. And this video is made for all those owners out there of houses that are vacant, properties that are vacant, mm -hmm. whether they're single families, multi-families, mixed use, right? Commercial properties. Mm -hmm. And the owners have no mortgage on them whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So do we come across them often? All the time. All the time, right? Mm -hmm. And they're located where? All over the place. All over the place, all right? And see, this is what we do. We, as real estate agents, we reach out to these owners and we ask them what their intentions are. Now, many times they think that we're trying to do what? Scam them or something very shady, but this yeah. is 100% okay. We're actually about to explain why. Yeah, and many other times they also think that we just only want to help them sell the property, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, and sometimes, you know, uh, their response is, I don't want to sell. They 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 just hang up the phone, right? Right, and they hurt our feelings a lot. Yeah, yeah, and that's okay because we just call them back, and <laughs> you know. Um, anyway, uh, uh, what I was just thinking about right now was the ten things, uh, at least ten things that you can do, homeowners, with the money that you're basically losing uh, while your property is vacant. All right, and the thing is, I came up with this list like that, like seriously, in ten in two minutes. Right. Oh, I was there. He came and, and, and I know that uh, there's so much more uh, that I can put on that list. It's just that I just wanted to at least let you know 10 things that you can do with the money that you're losing. Okay, so the and there's probably a lot more. Uh, yeah, so the first one on the list is go on a much needed vacation. So, um, you know, with the pandemic going on, there's a lot of people who are not going on vacation. So people are kind of going. I don't want to say crazy, but they're getting cabin fever. They're staying inside a lot, and right, right. Uh, you know, I just feel that uh, you know, for the sake of people's sanity, they should go away, right? They should utilize that passport that they have, especially now with uh, uh, with with plane tickets being so cheap, right? right? Right. You know, just go away, all right? And people are getting vaccinated as well, so it's a little bit more simple and easier to go away so you're going to say something josh yeah you don't even have to travel outside the, outside the country you can go to we yeah. new jersey you can go to pennsylvania have a nice little weekend in the poconos or something like that but a nice vacation definitely is something that is much needed nowadays yeah and so remember and this is the money that you could be utilizing from the from, from the property that you have right so whether it is that you want to sell it we can help you out or you want to rent it out we can still help you out with that mm -hmm. and then in another video that i made i show you you know that we know people who can you know get you to the point where you want if you want to rent it out if you want to renovate the property you can rent it out so you can utilize that money to number one and this is not in any order of importance number one go on a much needed vacation right because when you get that rest you become more valuable you become more valuable you know, you can maybe buy another property. You could do other things as well. So number two is up a little bit. Yeah. Invest in the stock market. All right. So the stock market right now is kind of hot. Booming. Right? Yeah. So, I mean, there's some stocks now that if you invested a thousand dollars on January first, 2020, I mean 2021, mm -hmm. it would be worth ten thousand dollars right now. All right. Uh, so that's uh, imagine you're renting out to tenants and they they're giving you two thousand dollars a month, right? You put that two thousand into whatever stock, you know, uh, um, um, and and it turns into twenty thousand mm -hmm. dollars. So, you know, that's something else that you could do with your money, right? So you're making your money work for you, okay, right. uh, instead of against you. Uh, number three is uh, donate to your favorite charity. All right, so you know, uh, you want to make the if you want to make the world a better place, you know, donate to your favorite charity. You right? do it with your charity. You can do it with the church. Mm -hmm mosque whatever. not for profit whatever i mean there's so many people who are in need right now especially with the pandemic and uh, you know the way that the economy you know some you know pe some people are you know saying you know how the how the economy is going to be and some pe there's many people who are still unemployed um so you know definitely donations are needed nowadays mm -hmm. uh number four is start a small business right so get the money to start a business to make more money right why not do that all right why not Number five is buy tax liens up to 18% interest that you can be making by buying tax liens. All right. So, you know, people have this misconception that um, you need tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars to buy tax liens. You don't need that. You know, there are some tax liens out there that are purchased for just a few hundred bucks. There's towns that, um, you know, people just don't pay their sewer bills, you know, for their property. So let's say it's 150 bucks, uh, you know, per quarter. 
four quarters in a year, so that's six hundred dollars. That's a good idea. The town just wants their money, so if you buy their six hundred dollar tax lien, right? You know, at least you're making money from that. And mm -hmm. I, 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 I'm not too familiar with with like how that works, all right? Uh, but I'm familiar enough that I know that you know you can make about eighteen percent back on that investment, and 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 you have to get paid. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. Like the tax thing has to get paid, so you'll get your money back. Maybe right. maybe we could do a video a little bit more in depth. True, or future. I can get somebody in here to speak about tax things and an expert, okay? Be so better. I can share it with everybody. All right, number six, Josh is buy more income producing properties. Exactly. So right now you are sitting on a gold mine, right? Right. The thing is you're not mining it. It's just mm -hmm. there. It's just it, there's a there's a big wooden door on the gold mine, right? And there's a tunnel to go down so you could get all the gold and mine it but that's not happening right now, unfortunately, for whatever reason, okay? So one thing that you could do with the money that you're not making right now, or that you're basically losing, in my opinion, is uh, buy another income producing, another gold mine uh, for you, okay? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, number seven is pay off your credit card debt. Exactly, so uh, let's say you have a credit card debt. Uh, $17,000, something. Yeah. Or, or the interest rate on these credit cards. I mean, some of them are, you know, fifteen percent, twenty percent, twenty-four percent, right? Uh, like, why are you paying that? That that's money going down the toilet. I, you know, just pay that off. You know, use other people's money to make you more money. Okay. Um, number eight is put money in interest-bearing savings account. Yeah. So uh, what I also wrote down in, in the notes is. Uh, you know, just save it for a rainy day. You know, you never know if uh, you may need a new car one day, um, or if, even if your car breaks down and you don't want to buy a new car, you just want to, you know, fix your motor or, re or replace your motor. You know, maybe there's like a, like a medical emergency here, and, and anything can happen. You know, just save your money for a rainy day, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, especially if you don't have any money in your bank account right now, but you do have a house. It's a vacant property. You know, utilize it. You know, make something from it. All right. Definitely. All right. Number uh, nine. Nine is books make you more valuable. This is uh, my favorite one because uh, I like to read, and I truly believe that um, there are books out there that will make you more valuable, not just spiritually, but also financially. All right. So I'm a true believer in um, you know imitating um, those who are great in their own respect. Right. So. Um, I like to read autobiographies, biographies as well, uh, of people who are, you know, who were truly respect. I mean, Definitely. successful mm -hmm. in their own respect. Mm -hmm. And there's always little things that you can learn from their lives, right? That if you imitate that, then you will become more valuable, right? right. And, and I heard this quote, and it says that whatever you're going through, most likely somebody has went through it and wrote about it. So some some information is out there about what you're going through. Whether that be anything from like a breakup to, you know, a flat tire on the road, there's information out there and there, there's value out there to be put in our heads. Yeah, and what I'm uh, getting from what you just said is that also is that, you know, that, that life is full of problems, okay? You're always gonna have a problem, but guess what? No problem is ever new. Maybe it's new in your life, but it's not new to the world, right? right. And they, and problems have been solved. And these problem solvers put them in what? They put them in books. Put them in books. Yeah, or they put them on videos. Right now, I mean, we have access to the world in our pockets with our with our cell phones. Mm. And instead of you know utilizing it for something that that's destructive, you can use it for something that's productive, Definitely. right? That's constructive. That you can you know make yourself more valuable. Now, you know, I I, I sometimes don't like to you know like use this, but I'm gonna use it right now. But you know, if anything, like you know put a price tag on, on on what you think you're worth per hour. So if you feel that you're worth 50 bucks an hour right now, okay, just imagine with every book that you read, you you are now making yourself more valuable, right? So like, let's say you finish one book. Mm -hmm. Now you're worth $55 an hour, right? Let's say you finish 10 books, right? Now maybe you're, you're gonna be worth, you know, $200 an hour mm -hmm. because now you're gonna know more of what to do. Maybe you have this vacant house and you're gonna say to yourself, wow, you know, I can utilize this house to get another house or to do this, or maybe this will this house will finance my dream, like something that I want to do. Yeah, right. Could be. And because you now have the money to access, 
some of these things, including books, so that mm -hmm. you understand and you know how to do some of this stuff, then you make yourself more valuable. Okay. And not to go off a little bit too much on books, but the more you know, the more you, you may know how to use your money a little bit better. These are just 10 things that you can do. There's plenty of other things that you can do. Yeah. And books will definitely show you what you should be doing with your money if you read the right books. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so, and once again, I go back to that word, a gold mine, right? It really is a gold mine. It, you know, what, what that, this property that you have, okay, and this is why, you know, Josh and I are really reaching out to you because, you know, we, we really do want to help you out, all right? We're not calling you or sending you this video because we want to list your property and we want to sell it and make a commission. Hey, hey look, you want to do that? I, I mean, like, if you want to renovate your house and you want to eventually sell it, we will help you out. And mm -hmm. obviously, we're going to make a commission. Yep. But you're the one who's going to, you know, benefit the most out of this, all right? And right now, the money that's, that, that is in there, you're actually losing money. This is why this is, these are the 10 things. Uh, that you can do from the money that you're losing, <laughs> right? So think about burning money, right? If you take a look at some of the other videos that we've made, I actually burn money so that you see physically how money burns. That was a okay? fake dollar, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's something in your eye. Huh? Huh? Yeah, I know. I blinked. I got it out. Okay, okay. Allergy season too, Allergy right? season. That's the uh, thing. I know, I know. That yeah. happens every time I say I burn the dollar. Yeah. And the allergies just pop allergies up. Allergies pops up in Amazing. my eye. Amazing, yeah. I know. So... Uh, so once again, going back to the gold mine, you know, this is a gold mine, all right? And we truly believe that and we want to help you out. Now, the last thing, number 10, is have it work for you hundreds of different ways, which yeah. is something I just mentioned. This is not the only, these are not the only things you can do. You can do yeah. many other things with money in your pocket. Any investor will tell you that money that is invested is a smart way to do it. Having it just sit there is not necessarily the best way to be utilizing money. Yeah. And the thing is, like, it's really not even sitting there, Josh. Right. So, you know, uh, like, let's say I had one hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars and it's sitting in the bank and it's accruing, you know, less than one percent interest. Well, mm -hmm. at least the money sitting in the bank and it's accruing, you know, zero point seven percent interest. Right. What we're saying is that the house that you have, you are probably paying taxes on it. You're probably paying insurance on it. You're probably trying to maintain it as often as possible. Mm -hmm. So when it snows, you go out there, you you know, you get rid of the snow from the sidewalk. It, yep. Yeah. Um, you know, now that the spring is your summer, you know, around the corner, the grass, you know, you have to you, you, you have to maintain over. your lawn. Mm -hmm. So you're actually spending money, right? In a way, losing money to keep this asset there that could be producing money for you okay well at that point multiplying at, the money at, at for that you. point it's a liability robert kiyosaki assets and liabilities mm -hmm. at that point if you're just dumping money into a property that's not producing anything for you it's a liability it's something it's, yeah. it's something that's making you spend money instead of something that's bringing you in money yeah so this is and this is why we're reaching out to you so uh once again number 10 was have it work for you in hundreds of different ways and the reason why i put hundreds of different ways is because i know if i sit down Probably for another few hours I could come up with another list of like maybe 60 70 80 90 or 100 mm -hmm. different things that you can do with the money that you're losing we'd be here all night yeah seriously like I mean and we would we'd probably be here all night just talking about it uh, but I think that is it for this video right I think so okay so look um, hopefully you found this video um, insightful and um, if you have any questions just give us a call so my phone number is 908-432-2526. My phone number is 973-405-1413. And once again, I'm Robert Savori with United Real Estate Agency, and you are? I'm Joshua Santillan with United Real Estate Agency. Yeah, we work together, we're at the same office, and uh, we'll be more than happy to you know, um, guide you uh, in whatever direction you wanna go. And we're actually cousins. Yeah, we are. With, wait, my mom and your dad. No, wait. No, your dad, my mom. Uh, uh, brother, sister. That's S right. Sabori. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we both grew up in Patterson. Yeah. That's true. And the office is in Patterson, right? The now. office is in Patterson as well. It is, yeah. Staying local. Exactly, yeah. Anyway, um, please reach out to us. All right. Peace.